Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my February book haul. So I managed to acquire a lot of books in February. I picked up 14 books from the library this month and I bought 10 books with my own money. I am generally pretty good. I generally place an online order about once a month and they're generally the only books that I purchase each month but I don't know what happened this month I just went a little bit crazy and I spent money like in store um and got like a book here a book there a couple of different times so with the 14 library books and the 10 books that I bought I have 24 books to show um in this book haul so let's just um power through and I'll show you um the books as quickly as I can so that hopefully this video isn't really really long Okay, so as always, we'll start with the library books. First off, I have A Fool and His Honey by Charlene Harris. This is the sixth book in the Aurora Tea Garden series, which is a cozy mystery series that I have been reading. And this is the next book that I have to get to. After that, I picked up City of Bones by Michael Connolly. This is the eighth book in the Harry Bosch series, which is another series that I've been reading. And this is um, a detective mystery kind of series. Um, and yeah, I need to pick up this one. I also picked up this month Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. I picked this one up to fulfill the challenge um, from the Around the Year in 52 Books challenge of reading a children's classic. I have never read Charlotte's Web. Yeah, I don't know how that's possible, but I never have and I've never seen like um, I know there's a movie and I haven't seen it and for some reason for years I thought Charlotte was the pig even though it's called Charlotte's Web. Uh, I don't really know what to say about that, but I'm clearly an idiot. Anyway, I picked this up this month. I'm really excited to get to it because I just think I'm really going to enjoy this. So yeah, I picked this one up this month. Next, I picked up Gates of Paradise by Virginia Andrews. This is the fourth book in the Castile family saga. Um, you may recall me saying that I really hadn't been enjoying the series. It went, the first one kind of started off at right. It was kind of like a three star kind of book. I think maybe I gave it three and a half stars, but it went seriously downhill and it got a bit ridiculous. However, this fourth book follows the main character from the previous book's daughter. And so I'm hoping that kind of with it being further on in time and with um, new characters that I may enjoy it a little bit more so I am going to continue on with the series um, but again I somehow managed to pick up this humongous hardback copy with like large print so as you can see that's like a really big book but I'm just going to be really annoyed to have to write in my handbag when I'm reading this but yes I picked up this this month I also picked up Black Coffee by Agatha Christie this is I think the seventh book in the Hercule um, Praro series that I've been reading and I also picked up Crime in the Picture by Emily Rodder. This is the 12th book in the Teen Power Inc. slash Ravenhill Mystery series. This month I also picked up What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. Originally I picked this up to fulfill the challenge of reading a book with one of the um, five W's like who, what, when, where, why. I um, mean I was going to use this for what but I ended up reading another book that had what in the title and so I decided to use that one for that challenge and to use this for a book that has a first name in the title being Alice. Um, I read um, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty last year and I really really enjoyed it um, and so I'm really excited to get to this one. I have absolutely no idea what it's about at all but I'm looking forward to reading it. Next I have The Awakening by Kate Chopin. This book I actually picked up to fulfill the book of reading a book from the Rory Gilmore Challenge. This is on that list and I've been kind of interested in this for a little while because um, I've heard both um, Katie from Chapter Stacks and Whitney from Witty Novels talking about this book and they both said really good things. I believe this may be a great like kind of feminist novel. I don't really know what it's about but I have heard really good things and this copy from the library actually has really nice kind of black edged pages which is really cool um and I quite enjoy this cover um so yeah I'm excited to get to this one next I picked up Perfect Fits by Megan McCafferty this is the final book in the Jessica Darling series and to be quite frank I'm kind of glad that I'm getting to the end of it because I really enjoyed the first two books but it went seriously downhill from there for me so I'm hoping that maybe it kind of finishes with a bang but I don't really have my hopes up too high about this one I also picked up Nowhere to Run by Emily Rodder, which is the 13th book um, in the Teen Power Inc. slash Ravenhill Mysteries series. And this one I'm a little bit excited about because 
as soon as I saw this cover, I remembered the story. Uh, this is one of the ones from my childhood that I remember quite clearly. I also picked up The Haunted Hotel by Wilkie Collins. I have now read two Wilkie Collins books and I really enjoyed both of them and I had only planned to really read his like more popular works and I don't think this is one of his more popular ones but I saw this on the shelf in the classic section at the library and I just really liked this cool um like vintage collection um cover. I just thought it was really cool and it's not too big so even though I think the writing oh no the writing is like a fair size as well so I don't think his other books are really quite long so I don't think this will take me long to get through and I've really enjoyed his other two books so I decided to give this one a go. I also picked up Dangerous Game by Emily Rodder which is what the 14th? 13th or 14th? Did I say 13th before? I think this is the 14th book in the Teen Power Ink slash Ravenhill Mystery series. I also picked up volume 8 of Morning Glories which is called Rivals. Now you may have noticed that I haven't picked up volume 7. My library doesn't have it. Yeah. They don't have volume 7, even though they have 1 through 6, and they have like 8 and 9, and I believe 10. So that is really annoying, but I believe I have found somewhere online where I can read it, um, volume 7, so I'll read that one online hopefully, and then I can get to this one from the library. And the final book that I picked up in February is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. I picked this one up to fulfill the challenge of reading a book that starts with your first initial. So my name starts with a K for Karen and you are supposed to ignore the word that starts with like a the or an a uh, and so you go off the K for kind. This was really hard to find a book that started with K. I have a like physical list of books that I want to read. It is 27 pages long. And I went through the entire 27 pages and there were five books on there that started with a K and the other four were all first books in series and I didn't want to commit to another series at this stage so I went with this one because, purely because it was the only standalone. So I believe this is a psychological thriller. Oh uh, yeah, the year's most addictive thriller, The Kind Worth Killing Will Keep You Gripped and Guessing Late Into the Night. Um, this cover for some reason really reminds me of the movie Up in the Air, that movie with George Clooney, which by the way was really depressing. Um, so... I don't really know anything about it apart from that, but it was on my list of books that I wanted to read and it started with a K, so I went with this one. So now let's move on to the 10 books that I bought with my own money this month. The first of those is Night Study by Maria V. Schneider. Now, the only other book I own by Maria V. Schneider is Poison Study, but I saw this and I looked it up and I believe this is the fifth book I'm in the series and it was there in the store for like fairly cheap. And I, these covers, this matches the cover that I have for Poison Study, and they're quite hard to find in Australia, like in store. So I decided to just grab it. And I believe it's the fifth book in that series, but I'm actually not sure. It's a little bit confusing. I think these series like kind of overlap and interlock. Um, so if you know the order that Maria Lee Schneider's books are supposed to be um, read, please leave a comment down below because I may have to do some Googling or something because... I think it's the fifth book, but it may also be the second book in another series, but it could be b both. I really don't know, but I picked this up. On that same trip, I picked up Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen, of course, and Seth Graham Smith. I've been interested in this for quite a while, but now that the movie's coming out, I do really want to read it. I wasn't too happy about getting the movie cover, but I actually don't think this movie cover's too bad. Like, I don't mind it. I just really hate how they put these things on here that say now a major motion picture, but like it's not a sticky you can peel off, like it's just on there and I really don't like that. But I don't mind this cover and I've been really wanting to read this so I hope to pick this up. I probably won't go see this in um, like in cinemas, um, but hopefully I can read this and then pick up the movie, watch it at home. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to get to this. Apologies if the camera angle just changed. I once again ran out of memory because that happens to me all the freaking time. Anyway, the next book that I picked up is Burn by Paula Weston. This is the final book in the Refame series and I'm so excited that I have this. Shadows, the first book in the series, was my number one book of 2015 and I now own the final three books in the four book series so I can finally pick this up and power through it. So I'm really, really excited to get to this. Next, I picked up Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. This is the sequel to Red Queen. I haven't actually read Red Queen, but I own it. And I saw this in store and this is like quite a tall paperback and it matches 
the paperback that I have for um, Red Queen, and I should be getting to that actually quite soon, so I decided to just go ahead and pick up the sequel. So, yeah, I picked this one up this month. Next, I picked up Kingpin by Lily St. Germain. This is, again, a sequel to a book that I own the first one of but I haven't read, and that is Cartel. And I didn't actually even buy that book myself. I won it in a giveaway, um, and I don't even really know what this is about. I believe it's a new adult series, and I think it involves, like, both the mob and bikies and I wasn't even really sure if I was gonna um enjoy the first book but for some reason I saw this and again I was just like oh I should just pick up the sequel while while I found it cheap in store because what if I like it and then I don't have the second one and then I have to pay more money for it because that's how we rationalize these things to ourselves so I picked up this this month next I picked up the strange and beautiful sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton this is a book that I don't know too much about, but I know it is about a girl who was born with wings and it involves magical realism. And I don't think I've ever really read much um, in the genre of magical realism, so I'm really excited to get to this. I've heard nothing but good things about this on BookTube, so I'm really excited to get to this. And this, I know people have said it before, but it has a really beautiful cover. I don't know if you can kind of see that leaf, like, glinting in the light. Like, it's really gorgeous, so I'm definitely excited to get to this one. Next, I picked up Sister's Fate by Jessica Spotswood. I believe this is the final book in the Cahill Witch Chronicles, which is, I believe, a trilogy. And this, I don't really know, again, what this series is really about, except that it involves three sisters who are witches. And I know I'm going to really love this series. Um, and so I picked up this final book, so now I own all three. Next, I picked up The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. This is again a sequel to a book that I own the first one of, but I haven't read. I bought the original The Winner's Curse. I got that actually for my birthday. It was in my birthday book haul. Um, and I got this because I saw it in store and I was really excited because it was only $8. And this was the only copy that they had. And so I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. And I didn't look too closely at it, but it is not in the best condition. Like there's nothing really wrong with it, but um, you can't see on camera, but here it's like kind of like bent in and the corners like a little bit bent and it's not in super great condition um but it was only eight dollars which is pretty cheap for I like books here in Australia so I figure if I really really love it um I can always replace this copy later on down the line so I am excited to have this um these covers are beautiful next I received a twenty dollar um gift card and so I decided of course to spend that gift card on books because that's what I do and so I picked up two books they are the last two books that I have to show you the first of which is Asking For It by Louise O'Neill um there are other books by Louise O'Neill I haven't read anything by her but I've heard good things about them I've heard good things about this and I saw this in store and I was like oh yes I'm gonna get that because I just I've said in videos recently, um, rape and kind of rape culture is something, is an issue that I find very, very interesting. And the synopsis of this, I'm just going to read you part of it because it just sounds amazing and I can't wait to pick this up. Um, it's the beginning of summer and Anna, Emma O'Donovan is 18 years old, beautiful, happy and confident. One night there's a party. Everyone is there. All eyes are on Emma. The next day she wakes on the front porch of her house. She doesn't know how she got there. She doesn't know why she's in pain, but everyone else does. Photographs taken at the party show in great detail exactly what happened to Emma that night, but sometimes people don't want to believe what's right in front of them, especially if the truth concerns the town's heroes. This just sounds really, really good. Um, I generally have pretty strict rules about when I pick books up off my TBR pile, but oh, I'm tempted to break them for this book because I just really, really want to read this. And the final book I have to show you today is Room by Emma Donoghue. This is again another book that um, a movie has come out for, which I haven't seen. I haven't read the book. And so I wanted to, of course, get the books that I could see it before I try and watch the movie. Um, and this is another one that I had to get the movie cover of. Again, I don't hate this movie cover, but again, it has this now a major motion picture crap thing on there that really pisses me off. But anyway, um, I don't know too much about this. I just know that it is told, I believe, from a five-year-old's perspective and it's him and his mother and they live in a room and the little boy has never been outside this room I actually think I've been spoiled a little bit for this book but I don't know if I have been spoiled or if that's a spoiler or like I don't know because I haven't read it but I am excited to pick this up I heard really good things about this and I've heard really really good things about the movie and I really love Brie Larson who plays the main character in this like I love her as an actress so I'm excited um to get to this to read it and to watch the movie 
So, those are the 24 books that I picked up in February. I hope this video wasn't too, too long. I apologise if it was, but I just got a shit ton of books this month, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, if you've read any of these books, I would love to talk to you guys about your thoughts on them down below. Um, I would love to know what book you got that you're most excited for that you picked up in February. I would just love to chat to you guys in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye, guys.